Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a very inspiring lesson from Class 10 English, The Making of a Scientist by Robert W. Peterson. Yes, this is not a poem, but the real-life story of Richard H. Ebright, a boy who loved butterflies and grew up to become a famous scientist. Let's find out how his journey began. First, a word about the writer. Robert W. Peterson was an American journalist and author, best known for his works on history and science. In this lesson, he tells us about how Ebright's curiosity and hard work made him a scientist. So it's like a biography, right? It explains step by step how Ebright developed his skills and became successful. Richard Ebright was born in Pennsylvania, USA. He was an only child. His father died when he was in third grade. His mother encouraged him to learn new things. She gave him telescopes, microscopes, cameras, and books. She also spent evenings with him at the dining table, helping him learn. She was his first teacher and his biggest support. Ebright loved collecting things. As a child, he collected butterflies, rocks, fossils, and coins. He was also interested in astronomy and would sometimes stay awake all night watching the stars. By the time he was in second grade, he had already collected all 25 species of butterflies found in his hometown. Amazing, right? But then came the turning point. His mother gave him a book called The Travels of Monarch X. Yes, that book opened the world of science for him. It told the story of monarch butterflies and their migration to Central America. At the end of the book, it invited children to help in real research by tagging butterflies. Ebright joined this project. He caught female monarchs, raised them from eggs to adults in his basement, tagged them, and released them. His basement was full of butterflies. In seventh grade, he took slides of frog tissues to the science fair, but he lost. And he learned an important lesson. Real science means experiments, not just neat displays. Exactly. After that, he started doing actual experiments, often guided by Dr. Frederick A. Urquhart, the butterfly scientist. Let's quickly go through some of his projects. In his eighth grade, he tried to find the cause of a viral disease in monarch caterpillars. Though results were not perfect, he still won a prize. Next year, he studied if viceroy butterflies copy monarchs to avoid being eaten by birds. That project won him first place in zoology. During high school years, he studied the 12 tiny gold spots on monarch pupae. People thought they were decorative, but Ebright discovered they produce a hormone needed for butterfly growth. This won him entry to the International Science Fair. Later, he grew monarch wing cells in a culture and proved they needed that hormone to develop properly. Again, he won first prize in zoology at the International Fair. After high school, Ebright studied at Harvard. He worked in top labs. Then, one day, while studying X-ray photos of hormones, he got a new idea about how cells read the DNA blueprint. Together with his roommate, James R. Wong, he explained this in a paper that was published in a top science journal. This was a huge achievement because it could help in research against diseases like cancer. So, what made Ebright a scientist? Three things. A first-rate mind. Curiosity. Willingness to work hard and win for the right reasons. Yes, he was competitive, but not just to win prizes. He wanted to do his best and discover new things. He wasn't just a science enthusiast. He was also a champion debater, canoeist, photographer, and member of Model United Nations. And he admired his teacher, Richard Weirer, who inspired him to open his mind to new ideas. So, the making of a scientist is not magic. It's about curiosity, hard work, and the right attitude. And Richard Ebright's story shows us that even small hobbies, like collecting butterflies, can lead to big discoveries. Friends, if you enjoyed this story, give this video a like, share it with your classmates, and subscribe for more English lessons.